The Caribbean, the sea of pirate legends. People often hear about this sea through the classic film Pirates of the Caribbean played by Hollywood actor Johnny Depp and transformed into Captain Jack Sparrow simulating the adventures and history that formed this mysterious sea. This is also the reason why today people are more curious, want to explore to experience interesting things in this sea. The name Caribbean derives from the Caribs, one of the region's dominant Native American groups at the time of European contact during the late 15th century. After Christopher Columbus landed in the Bahamas in 1492, the Spanish term Antilles is applied to the lands. Stemming from this, Sea of the Antilles became a common alternative name for Caribbean Sea in various European languages. During the first century of European colonization, Spanish dominance in the region remained undisputed. The Caribbean Sea had been unknown to the populations of Eurasia until 1492, when Christopher Columbus sailed into Caribbean waters on a quest to find a sea route to Asia. At that time, the Americas in general were unknown to most Europeans, although they had been discovered in the 10th century by the Vikings. Following the discovery of the islands by Columbus, the area was quickly colonized by several Western cultures. Following the colonization of the Caribbean islands, the Caribbean Sea became a busy area for European-based marine trading and transports, and this commerce eventually attracted pirates such as Black Bear. This is the legendary character that is modeled on the famous pirates of the Caribbean movie. Although there were more successful pirates, Blackbeard was one of the most famous and widely known pirates of that era. He commanded four ships and had an army of 300 pirates during his time as a pirate. He defeated the famous warship HMS Scarborough in the Battle of the Sea. He seized more than 40 merchant ships in the Caribbean and killed many prisoners. Although he had many wives, he was officially married to the 16th of February 26 girl. After a fierce battle, he finally stood up with his beard along with smoke, after which he was captured by the Royal Navy. Martinique is a small island located in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. Martinique is hailed as one of the Caribbean's most attractive islands. Besides the poetic scenery of a tropical island, what makes it special and attracts a large number of tourists is that the island is said to be able to help with height growth. Even those who have grown up after living on the island of Martinique for a while can be significantly higher. There is a legend in Martinique that, every 10 years, the entire inhabitants of the island will simultaneously grow a few centimeters tall. Not only that, there are many recorded cases of people from elsewhere after coming to the island to live for a while the height can also increase. In the book Mysterious Phenomena of Humanity, there is a record of the case of Gray Mean, a 64-year-old French doctor of science and his assistant. After living on the island of Martinique for about two years, they grew about seven centimeters taller. Not only humans, but also plants and insects on the island are of unusual size. After each decade, the size of the species ants, flies, lizards, snakes. 
The island is growing bigger. Some of the rats here can even be as big as an adult cat. Every year, the island of Martinique attracts tens of thousands of tourists from all over the world. Among them, there are many people of modest height who come here with the desire to be able to rise. So many people even call this island paradise for the shore people. A small island nation independent of its unique nature and fascinating pristine coral reefs. This is the set of the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. Diving for corals or participating in sea sports games are very popular activities here. It is among the most prosperous countries in the Caribbean. It is home to countless beaches with smooth sandy shores and clear water. It's a dream vacation destination. The islands are derived from long defunct volcanoes, surrounded by interesting unspoiled natural landscapes. Bequia is one of the major islands of the Grindanese Islands. The name Bequia comes from the Arawak language meaning cloudy island. The island is younger than other islands in the Caribbean. The inhabitants of the island are very friendly. The pace of life in Bequia is very slow. Whaling is a centuries-old tradition on Bequia Island. This profession has brought the islanders considerable income. Although many parts of the world have been banned from whaling, people here are still allowed to catch them. Currently, they are granted a special license by Greenpeace to catch blue whales to eat, not sell. The Guadeloupe Islands are made up of five violets. Bastère, Grand Terre, Lad Surade, Les Saintes, and Marie Galante. The islands are located in the eastern part of the Caribbean Sea and about 7,000 km off the coast of France. Grand Terre Island located in the east stands out for its limestone blocks and beautiful long beaches, dry weather and is a particularly attractive destination for tourists. Bastère is a mountainous island with extensive rainforest. Marine life in the Caribbean is extremely diverse and rich. There are more than a thousand species of fish, including sharks. Shark Cray Alley, located in Zone D of Hal Chan, is home to nurse sharks of the shark family, but harmless. They have a dark skin a maximum length of about 4.5 meters, weigh 330 kilograms, are distributed mainly in the Caribbean and are very human friendly. It is because of this that this place is very famous for diving with sharks. Reef manta rays are just as famous as sharks. According to research, this type of stingray is found and is most abundant in the Caribbean. Giant manta rays, also known as sea crutches, can weigh two tons and are nine meters in length. They are fish that are harmless to humans. This is also the reason that tourists when diving in the Caribbean are eager to see this giant fish. There are seven known species of sea turtles in world. Six of these inhabit the greater Caribbean region. But the most famous is green sea turtle. Green turtles were thus enormously important mega herbivores of the Caribbean Sea with an ecological role much like the bison 
of the prairie ecosystem of North America or the wildebeest of the Serengeti ecosystem of East Africa. They would have kept the seagrass beds clipped like pudding greens, which is supported by historical accounts of seagrass beds cut near the roots by grazing green turtles. The Caribbean Sea is a very large sea and contains many mysteries that have been discovered every day. Leaving behind the myths of piracy in history now what people remember when referring to this sea is the stretching white sand. The blue sea is clear as pearls, the unspoiled scenery to the dream and the ideal resort for tourists. <laughs>